Right now, though, we are spot shining the spotlights on our four-legged friends, though. Feeding your dog treats and leftovers is something that a lot of dog owners, myself included, are guilty of. So understanding what could be toxic, toxic to them is something that we should all be aware of to ensure their top health. Now, in our last Bravecto segment, we discussed lesser-known threats to your dogs that you can find in your homes. And today, we continue on with that trend and look at foods that can be toxic to your dogs. And uh, once again, Dr. Matz, a technical specialist from MSD Animal Health, the makers of Bravecto, is here to help us understand what foods around your house can actually be toxic to your dogs. Thank you once again for being here with us. Pleasure. And uh, as we know, dogs would eat anything and everything that you put in front of them, but some foods out there are very dangerous and threatening to their health. I think the, the first point that I want to make is try and stick to the commercial diets that are available. We have a habit of spoiling our loved ones, <laughs> and sometimes if we don't know what we're giving, it could be a problem. So yeah. something as healthy as macadamia nuts that are very healthy for us are potentially toxic to animals. Things like chocolate, which we love and enjoy, can be toxic to them. Uh, we can have raisins and grapes that are really everyday kind of treats for us. They can be to toxic. Even xylitol, which is well known to be a very safe option for us, mm -hmm. can be potentially toxic to them. Take us through these particular foods, especially the more common ones like your grapes and your raisins and, and your chocolates. How can each of these foods be dangerous and pose a threat to your dog's health? I think a lot of it has to do with their physiology and whether they're able to metabolize it and break it down and get rid of any waste products. So things like raisins and grapes, yes. they do not get metabolized adequately, so it builds up as a toxin to the kidneys, so you land up with kidney trouble. Yeah. Uh, onions, for example, that we use in our cooking can land up affecting the, the actual blood and the circulation in the body and causes anemia in these animals, so yeah. they turn pale. Uh, we can have chocolate contains theobromine, so that's toxic and, and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, weakness. Mm -hmm. Macadamia nuts give you weakness. Those legs go weak, they go, they lie down, they can't get up. Um, so it, it can all present quite differently, and unless we know what we're looking at, it can be quite hard to identify. Yeah. So do you have a general rule? Like, like you said, we all love to spoil our loved ones, right? So sometimes you want to treat the dog into a nice little bry bone or something like that. Do you have yeah. a general rule to follow that if you are going to go, be going outside uh, recommended veterinary diets, for instance, what not to feed your dog or what can you feed your dog? Is there a general rule that you kind of follow? I think the rule of thumb is actually do your research before you give it. So understand what you're giving and understand how much of it. In toxic principles, it's always about too much. So if we give just below that, then yeah. it will never be a problem. So for example, grapes that are known to be poisonous, one grape will not do anything. Yeah. But once we go past a certain limit, then we know it can be toxic. Dr. Matz, thank you very much. I think the important, very, uh, the very important take home from this is that at the end of the day, it is your responsibility as a pet owner to ensure that you've done your research and finding out and to make sure that you don't feed your dogs anything that can be harmful to them and rather stick to that veterinarian recommended diet. Thank you so much, Dr. Matt. So go out and extend the picture of health for your dog and get in line to win awesome prizes with Expresso and Brevecto. Now, three lucky winners per week will walk away with a year's supply of Brevecto and all the weekly winners go into the grand prize draw to win a Brevecto hamper and 5,000 Rand cash. So what you need to do is visit the Brevecto South Africa Facebook page or expressoshow.com to find out more. For extraordinary pet, you need extraordinary care. Give your dog 12 weeks protection against ticks and fleas in just one tasty treat with Brevecto.